are back, and this is one of the events that I am extremely excited about. It's Brittany. She's going to tell us all about the mother-son event that is going on right now at Bonavista. They're gearing up for. We are gearing up for. It is February 8th at 6 p.m. at the Casa Bella Ballroom at Pastorific. We have yet to choose the menu option. Chef Cynthia is wonderful. Mm -hmm. So I just, I never know what to pick. So we're kind of in that dilemma. That's a great dilemma to have. Really? So um, we're trying to figure out the menu. It's going to be light chicken, I imagine, for the moms, and then an appropriate um, at uh, entree for the children right. as well. And so. it'll be a variety, so it won't be one of those things where, oh, this is all you get. Yes, and so you get salad, bread, entree, and dessert. We definitely will give you dessert. So we're really excited about it. Um, we are going to have the Empire of Chivalry and Steel. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know about them, but they yep. actually recreate the Renaissance era, and they do a whole... Um, performance during like dinner as we're getting done with dinner they get up there they let the kids come up mm -hmm. and then they battle and then once you lose a limb you kind of have to put the arm behind your back and battle so it's like really cool they try to react right. as best as they can so we have that we have the wonderful Troy Bowers from Bonavista. Vista he is amazing while the kids are he is he's <laughs> a jack of all trades he truly is and you know he's a juggler I don't know if you know this but I if there's ever that. three of anything in a room he will juggle it so that's one thing that we're really glad to have because nice. when the kids start to kind of wander around after they get done with their crafts, then Troy will start a little magic show in mm -hmm. the corner. So it's really, really fun. So this year we're going to have a craft and it's going to be a pirate chest because this is a pirate themed event. I don't know nice. if a lot of people know that. So, And then we just got a hip hop dancer to come to teach hip hop, break wow. dancing, and maybe some partner stuff with the moms. But sons are more of their... Pop and lock. Pop, pop and lock, that's right. <laughs> well, I'm not very good at it, but I've, I've heard it's very popular. Pop and like, lock. Yeah. <laughs> it's the pop and I can just pop so maybe if we go together <laughs> we'd be a right. two person show right so we're just really excited there's so many things going on it starts at 6 until 9pm so for those three hours it's just absolutely jam packed mm -hmm. um, we have some great sponsors um, Mike Anderson Auto Group is our major They're sponsor major sponsor so major big sponsor thank you. big thank you out to them um, our station or our event sponsors, Duke Energy and Sycamore Financial Group, mm -hmm. have to thank them. Station sponsors, uh, Patty Spray Tan, Advanced Medical Imaging, St. Joan of Arc Catholic um, School, Kokomo or commu sorry, Community First Bank, the Wyman Group, and Regents Insurance. So we want to give a big shout out because with a nonprofit, I mean these right. sponsors are so important to our event. So that gives you the dance lessons, that gives you the magic show, that gives you the great mm -hmm. food. That gives you the great venue because without all of them working together and partnering together, they help bring everyone together. Right, and Geary Photography will be there to um, capture this night, so we can you have a photo package that you mm -hmm. can have with. And if you, it, we say you know it's not formal. You can come in your right. in your Sunday best, and we have kids that show up in their pirate garb. So mm -hmm. it's completely up to what you and your and your son want to do, mom and son. So. And, and let me just break this down because this goes back to the princess ball. And anyone who knows me knows I am in love with the princess ball because we've already got the jewelry, we've already got the tiara, and we already have the shoes. We're on the hunt for the dress. Sure, and I, this is where this came from. You know, with the Cinderella ball, we were so excited to and have that grow so quickly. We got that um, event from Deb Clayson. and we took it over Bonavista did to get the proceeds. So um, for us to we wanted to honor you know moms too because mm -hmm. the moms are there as part of the Cinderella right. ball helping to get ready um, you know helping them have just such a fun night so right. why should we rob them of a wonderful night with their son right. so because it, it genuinely is one of those opportunities that I, last year was my first year you mm -hmm. guys let me squeak in there but it's one of those things where I look back at the photography at the the crafts that she did at the mm -hmm. dress that you know we had cleaned and now hanging in the closet you look back at those memories and you think what what an enchanted night we had. And it's the same, the same is true for the moms and sons. It's one of those things that mm -hmm. it gives you time to reflect, I guess. Right. It, it, it gives you a chance to get out there and maybe not dress up princessy. Right. But, it, but what boys, boys want to do dress up, it's just, it's, some do. And we allow that. Like if they want to come as a pirate, you know, by all means mm -hmm. do that. And it's great if you have a couple of girlfriends and their sons want to come. When the Empire of Chivalry and Steel are done, and we don't ask them to do this, they do it on their own, but they'll let them sword fight with the boys. They bring like Nerf swords, mm -hmm. so and they're not out there beating each other. They're actually like teaching them how to do some of the moves mm -hmm. from the Renaissance era. So the moms get to kind of congregate and, yeah. and have, um, you know, their dessert and drinks and they can just you know, hang out there and watch their kids have a great time. So not only are you spending time with them, but you're letting them hang out with their friends mm -hmm. as well. And it truly is a good time. Um, you get to meet people from all over the community. Uh, you sit at the tables, you enjoy dinner, you enjoy a laugh, you enjoy 
good, good, good food. Good food. Thanks, Chef Cynthia. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the shows that she's talking about are top notch. They're mm -hmm. not just your backyard pirate show or whatever. They, they, right. they, they This they, is what they do. Yeah. Like they go from place to place and sword fight. And it's right. really cool, like fencing and they have the whole, and they're dressed to that era. So it's just a really fun experience. Yeah, they bring a lot to the plate, no pun intended. It's right. really that good. <laughs> and they're not, and we don't do all of everything together. We split them up into three groups. So there's right. one person's watching the sword fight. I'm talking a lot. <laughs> Sorry. Me too. Fighting, and then we're going to have the crafts over here, and then we're going to have the break dancing out in the hallway. So it's just, like I said, when I say jam-packed I mean jam-packed and the, the the facility is perfect for that it allows for the flow uh, when the, when she's talking about the three different groups that means what you do is you get in and out quicker it keeps the kids entertained it keeps the aesthetic of the room flowing and it keeps the fun at a maximum level because genuinely it truly truly is so we'll be right back with more information about who what when how you can get there right after this Good weekend. we are back now, I know you want to find out exactly how you can get your tickets. I, it's amazing. And coming from a parent who got to be there first last year at the Cinderella Ball, and it's, it's the same feeling. It's the same reception. It's the same type of events going on. It's exciting. And genuinely, when it was going on in the midstream of everything that was going that was the Princess Ball, I'm thinking ahead for next year like, okay, what are we going to do next year? This is a blast. I can't wait. That's the feeling that you get. So you definitely want to get your tickets right now. Yeah, and you can call me at 457-8273 to get more information if you didn't catch it all or if maybe my hands were kind of <laughs> in the way of what I was saying. So please call me 457-8273. Email me at bburton at bonavista.org and we'll get you set up. You can pay over the phone. You can bring your payment in. We, we make it as easy as, as we can for the parents to do that. So. And, and again, all of the proceeds go... Directly straight, to Bonavista. Straight back to Bonavista. We have 14 wonderful programs. We help adults and children with and without disabilities, over 1,200 people a day. So um, this is just so important for, to get people involved. with our. That's why I'm so thankful for our sponsors. And then right now we, we need the attendees to come. And it is $50 a person and $100 for a couple. So um, for any additional child, it is $50. But, but again, it's well worth it. It goes straight back to Bonavista. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you right now, if it seems a little bit overwhelming, save up a little bit and maybe next year is your year. You will enjoy it. I promise you. As a parent who got to go for the first time with my daughter, it was incredible. Moms and sons are the same way. It's one of those moments that you get to take back and be like, oh, this is so nice. Right, and you took the time to do it. And we do say 5 to 10 years old, but we've never turned anybody away. Mm -hmm. If you think your 3 or 4-year-old child will enjoy the events of the night, absolutely. Or if your child is over 10 and still mm -hmm. would find joy in seeing the Empire of Chivalry and Steel, would enjoy Troy doing magic, mm -hmm. doing the pirate chest craft with your mom. Absolutely, right. we, we don't turn anybody away. Um, we also ask them to bring a donation for our Keys for Kids right. preschool program. And at the end of the night, we get in a circle and we talk about how important it is to give back to your community and exactly what, who and what and who you're helping. Because mm -hmm. when you bring in a pack of crowns or crayons, sorry, no, crowns, crayons, colored pencils. So you're ready for the princess ball. Trip. I know, it's like, exactly. Sorry, or, or, it's, or it's some sorry, sort balls. of like country southern crayons. <laughs> bring in your crayons. Or anything that you bring in, we can talk um, about what that's going to do for our preschool program. Because right. a non-for-profit organization, any donations, we absolutely enjoy. And then mm -hmm. that instills that philanthropic right. you know, need for, for your children to know that that's important and to it, do. And to introduce that at such a young age and to understand that it's actually, even though they're there for a good time and the show is going to be incredible, the food is going to be good, it still ties it back together to community. Right. Because right. it could be days and days and days of shows to tell what Bonavista does and, sure. and the things that they're involved in and the good that's in the community. I'm lucky, one of those lucky people that get to know firsthand because I've seen and I've witnessed. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Deanna worked there for a little bit of a stint and she got to see firsthand that the good things that that money for your ticket, A Night to Remember, goes for and helps produce and helps give back into the community. Absolutely, and if you are wondering what Bonavista does on a day-to-day -day basis, Troy Bowers will give you a tour. He's he just will. the check all day, like I told you. A very boisterous, a very boisterous tour. He'll give you a tour of all of um, our admin building, our industries building. He'll tell you everything ev about every program that we do. If you're wondering exactly where your money's going and what it's going for, and I know a lot of people like to know exactly mm -hmm. what their money is. You know, I'm paying $50 for this ticket, 
you know, from 100 for the couple, wh where is it going back to? So come, come on out to Bonavista, 1220 East Laguna. Call me, 457-8273, and I'd be more than happy. And visit our website, yep. bonavista.org. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I'm always there giving updates, chit-chatting with funny you. Funny stuff. Right. <laughs> I try to make it enjoyable. It's not just about all of our wonderful events. Right. So, and and I, they're available and, and willing to talk. So a night to remember, $100 for the couple. It's food, it's fun, it shows, it's magical, it's pictures, you name it, mm -hmm. it is there. Hip hop, break dancing, pop and lock. Again, lock, pop. Pop. <laughs> um, <laughs> give them the address, give them the times, give them all of that one more time because I know, I promise you guys, I know I'm doing a lot of promising today because it has to do a lot with dancing, but I promise you, this is a very, very good time. It's something that you're going to remember forever. So give them the details one more time. February 8th at the Costa Bella Ballroom at Pasta Terrific, 3001 South Webster. Mm -hmm. Call me at 457-8273 today to reserve your seat and ticket. If you want to come with a group of your friends, we will um, save that table for you. So it can be a night out with your friends and your sons, and it'll just be a great time. And I, I promise you that you will not leave with a fun story or a fun memory of the night. And what mom wouldn't want to take their son on a magical date night? Yeah. Honestly. It's, and it's wonderful. And we set it up so so great. Your kid, we have this plank they can walk out on that we made. And we have a treasure chest and coins. And it's very piratey. It's, it's just very fun. <laughs> you definitely don't want to miss it. And honestly, stay tuned because I know Brittany's going to be back. Bonavista is one of those people working hard in the community for you, for us. Just doing wonderful things, amazing things. And when it does get closer to time to the Princess Ball, which August in, 2nd. in my mind, they throw it just for me and Bugsy. Um, in we my did. mind. Actually, you know, I'm going to try to see if we can name it after you somewhere. <laughs> that show. would be great. <laughs> thank you for coming in. Thank you I so much for having me. I truly appreciate it. And thank you for all you do. And again, you don't want to miss it. I, I know I said it before, but I promise you, it is a night that you will remember. It's, it is a night to remember. It's a night to, it's perfectly named. <laughs> we'll be right back.